Hello witches, welcome to my October TBR. Welcome, welcome to a new video. So today's video is going to be all the books that I want to get to in the month of October. So you guys, October, if you don't know, is my favorite month of the year. Not only because it is the spooky month, it has Halloween, which is my favorite holiday of all, but it's also my birthday month. So my birthday is on October 21st. I'm going to be 34. Very exciting. October is the month that I, I spend the entire year from, from January finding and collecting all of the like spookier horror thriller books on my TBR and saving them all for the month of October, which means I usually end up with a ton of books to read in October and this month is no different. I have about 19 books on my TBR this month, which is a lot, I know. And I might not get to all of them. I might get to more. Um, I might not read these books at all and I might read completely different books, who knows. But I'm gonna show you some of the books that I plan to read this month. First of all, before we get into my personal TBR, let's talk about the Diversathon prompt for October. This month, the host is Yammy, um, and that's at Bookworm Yammy on Instagram and a Bookworm's Thoughts on Facebook. The prompt for the month of October is a main character who lives or who has lived with abuse. I personally don't have a book picked out for this prompt. I'm gonna look and see if, while I'm reading this month, if any of the books fit the prompt, but Yummy is also going to be offering a giveaway. So definitely make sure to check her out. All the information will be linked down below for the Diversathon as well as an entry form for the grand prize giveaway at the end of the year. So make sure you check out the description down below and participate if you are able. So what am I reading in the month of October? I have two buddy reads that I'm going to be doing. First, we have White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is one of my most anticipated books of the year. This is being marketed as The Haunting of Hill House meets Get Out. That was all I needed to know. I haven't read the synopsis. I'm not going to. I cannot wait to read this. I'm going to be buddy reading this with Tasha from Mood Reads with Tasha. I will link her uh, channel in the cards as well as down below so you can check her out and I highly suggest you do so because she's amazing. Um, I cannot wait to read this. I cannot wait to buddy read this. I think it's going to be so so good. I just I have five star feels already. Um, I've read from Tiffany D. Jackson before and gave her other book five stars so I just I just, I just know. I know that this is going to be incredible and I can't wait. The other book I'm going to be buddy reading in October is The Companion by Katie Allender. This is one that I heard about from Bethany, I believe, from Beautifully Bookish Bethany. This is about a young girl who tragically loses her family in a horrible accident. And she is at this group home and then she gets fostered by this very prestigious family and everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're so lucky. Um, but is she though? Because she, these foster parents have um, decided to take her in to be a companion for their daughter who is very mysterious. I think she has some problems. And she and our main character gets to the house and weird things start happening. It sounds really, really good. I've heard really, really good things. And I'm gonna be buddy reading this with Ingrid from Ingrid Inspired. Once again, I'm gonna leave her channel linked in the cards and down below so you can go check her out because she is also amazing. And I think that this is gonna be a really fun one to buddy read, so I cannot wait to get to it. Okay, where to go next? I do have some videos planned, some like themed vlogs planned around certain books. I don't know if I should tell you about them. Um, I don't know. Okay, let's just forget everything I said. Let me just show you some of the highlights of the books that I wanna to get to this month. So first we've got Goblin by Josh Mallerman. Josh Mallerman is one of my favorite authors, one of my favorite horror authors. Everything I've read by him, I have loved. Um, he of course wrote Bird Box. He wrote um, Unbury Carol, Black Mad Wheel, House at the Bottom of the Lake, and I've loved every single one of them. So I'm very excited to pick this up. This is a novel told in six novellas, and it's all about this small town called Goblin. And this cover is giving me life. It really is. I cannot wait for this. This is one that I also feel like I'm gonna be giving five stars. I love his writing so much, so creepy, so just like unsettling. 
I can't wait. Next, I've got Sorrowland by Rivers Solomon. This is an adult uh, gothic horror, I think. And I've read from River Solomon before. I read, what was it, The Deep, and I really enjoyed their writing. So I'm really excited to check out a horror from them. This is about a girl. I believe she's like escaping from this really strict religious compound and she ends up like running into the woods, taking shelter in the woods, and she gives birth to twins. I think there's some like body horror going on in here and I'm, I'm very excited about it. I, I, that's all I know. I don't know too much else. I cannot wait to read it. I think it's going to be amazing. Next I have Small Favors by Erin A. Craig. This is the author of House of Salt and Sorrows, which I read, um, when was it? Mm last year and I really really loved it. the horror elements in that book were done really really well so I oops, so I am um, hoping that it'll have that similar creepy vibe that I loved so much from the first book this um, is about a small little town some creepy woods and some weird creatures that's all I know very excited to check this out and I mean look at the cover it's so Ready. Okay, my battery died, so I'm sorry if the angle changed, but we're back. And the next book that I have on my list is The Last Graduate, and this is by Naomi Novik. This is the sequel to A Deadly Education, which I read last year and absolutely loved. I've talked about it recently, how like it, it doesn't make sense how much I love that book, but I loved it so much, so I'm so excited for the second book. I think that this is going to be a quick read too. I read the first book in less than 12 hours. I was obsessed. I could not put it down. So I really hope that this is going to be the same. And in that first book, it like it definitely had its issues, but it was still five stars for me. It was very info dumpy. And I'm hoping now that we know more about the world and stuff like that, this one will be less info dumpy. So and we can like get right into it. But I'm very excited to see what happens next. It takes place in the Scholomance, which is this very dangerous magical school. You either graduate or you die. It is all about survival. There are monsters. There, are, Everything is out to get you. And we're following a main character who is destined to become this evil sorceress. And every day she has to kind of fight against that. Loved it so much. Cannot wait to read the second book. Another one that I have been obsessed with since it was announced, and that is Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. This is the exclusive Owl Crate cover. There's just something about this that seems so captivating to me. It is dark academia. It's set at this boarding school for girls in the Catskills and a new girl shows up to school and she's very interested in the school's history which has to do with like witchcraft. There were these five girls that end up that ended up dying mysteriously at the school and they were rumored to be witches and so when our main character gets to the school to find out more about this um, and tries to uncover more about what happened in the past, weird things start happening at the school. I'm so excited for this. You have no idea. I think it's going to be so good. I've heard amazing things about it so far. I've, I've heard that it gets really dark and I'm so looking forward to that. I actually have two short story collections here that I would really like to get to. The first one being Vampires Never Get Old. This is edited by Zoraida Cordova and Natalie C. Parker. Um, this has the story in it by Victoria Schwab that's getting adapted into a Netflix show, so I really want to read it for that. And also vampires. Like, like the title says, vampires never get old. You know, I love vampires. So I'm really excited to give this read and see how it goes. And then I do have His Hideous Heart. This is edited by Dahlia Adler, and this is 13 of Edgar Allan Poe's Most Unsettling Tales Reimagined. Um, I started this last year, I think it was, I got two stories in, I was enjoying it, and then I put it down for whatever reason and never got back to it. So I really want to finish it this month. And what's cool about this is that it has Edgar Allan Poe's original tales in the back. And every October, every single year, I make it a point to reread Edgar Allan Poe any Edgar Allan Poe because it just really gets me in the mood for the spooky season. And if you have the opportunity, I definitely recommend that you find, there's an audiobook of a collection of Edgar Allan Poe's works that are narrated by Vincent Price. And honestly, if you can find it, please, please listen to it because Vincent Price narrating Edgar Allan Poe is the best thing you will ever hear. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. That's what I usually listen to every October, um, but I think I'm just going to go with reading these this year. I have two books by Great... Okay, I might as well tell you one of the vlogs I'm planning to do in the month. I won't tell you all of them, but I'm planning to do like a 
author binge, author focused reading vlog where I read um, three books by a particular author that I've either tried from before or have been like very interested in reading from. I think I'm, it's like a series that I've been wanting to start on my channel for quite some time. So I'm going to do my first one in October and the author is Grady Hendrix. Now I have read one book by him and that was Horror Store and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the, he's like, he does like horror comedy and I didn't think that that was something that I would enjoy but I really enjoyed it in Horror Store. So I'm excited to read more from him. I've got My Best Friend's Exorcism which is about an exorcism and I believe this takes place in the 80s? Is it the 80s? I mean that looks like some some 80s hair right like I, I think it's the 80s <laughs> so excited to read this I've heard really great things about this however I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know how I feel about like possession stories do you know what I mean um, then we've got the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires also heard really really great things about this and uh, it's in the title vampires very excited about this so very excited about both of these and then I also want to check out his new book um, the final girls support group I don't have a copy of it um, I might get a copy during the month or I might just listen to the audiobook I don't know yet but very excited for that vlog so if you're interested make sure you stay tuned this is a book that I'm just very interested in it is another dark academia it's called the Atlas six by Olivia Blake this is a self pub book and I've heard just amazing things this is about these magicians um, and like a secret society called the Alexandrian Society that are caretakers of lost knowledge from the greatest civilizations of antiquity um, and is the foremost society of magical academic magicians. It sounds great. I think we are following um, sick, talented magicians that are being considered for initiation into this society. And there's like illustrations throughout this book. Here's one. Here's one. Look at that. I think that this is going to be a really fun read and I cannot wait to get to it. I have two, I promise we're, we're almost done, I promise. Um, so I have two YA horrors that I really want to get to. Um, the first one is Horrid by Katrina Leno. I've read from K Katrina Leno before, albeit not a horror book. Um, I read her like magical realism uh, YA contemporary type book, which I loved. I thought her writing was beautiful. I gave it five stars. So I've definitely been wanting to read more from her and all the better that it's a horror novel. I don't know much about this. I think we have somewhat of like a, a haunted house type situation, so that excites me. And then we've got House, house of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland, and I've heard mixed things about this, but I'm still interested in giving it a try for myself. Um, it's about these three sisters who disappeared, and then when they came back, they were greatly changed. They have no memory of what happened, but their appearance has changed. Their blue eyes are now black, their dark hair is now white, um, and they and as they grew older, odd, eerie occurrences seem to follow in their wake. People find them disturbingly intoxicating, unbearably beautiful, and inexplicably dangerous. Sounds fun. <laughs> and then we've got Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Amide, and this is a, another dark academia. This is pitched as Gossip Girl meets Get Out, which sounds so good. And I've heard amazing things about this. I don't think I've I've seen anyone read this that hasn't loved it so very excited it takes place in like this prestigious boarding school where we're following the two the only two black kids um in this school and they start getting blackmailed by this person named aces who is like starts sending anonymous text messages to reveal secrets about the two of them that turn their lives upside down and threaten every aspect of their carefully planned futures and i think things just get worse and worse and worse so very excited about this one. I've got Vita Nostra, which is another dark academia. Can you tell that that's like a thing that I like? <laughs> um, it's another dark academia. And honestly, I don't know too much about it. I just, I know I've heard really great things, especially from Jess, from Jess Owen. She read it and loved it. So I'm really excited to give it a try. This is a translated work. I think that it's um, Russian, translated from Russian, if I'm not mistaken. And I've heard other great things about it. So I just really want to check it out. Hopefully I can get to it this month. And then finally, our last book is The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. I loved his first book. I know like, Alex Michaelides seems to be a very polarizing author. I have seen 
like rant reviews of his books and um but i loved his first book which was the silent patient so much i could not put that book down i read it all in one sitting so i'm really excited to read this one i'm hoping that i will get a similar feel this also has like a dark academia ish vibe as well it takes place in cambridge there's secret societies and there's murder so excited <laughs> and i was wrong that's that's not the last book i have the haunting of rookward house by darcy coates i really want to read a darcy coates this month because i've been hearing great things about her as an author and i've never read anything by her so i want to read this and see how it goes hopefully i love it and if i do like she has she has a lot of books in her backlist that i can check out if i like this so i'm hoping that i do like it i've heard good things yes and then one more and i promise this is the last book velvet was the night or velvet is the night by sylvia moreno garcia this is her newest book i believe and i love sylvia moreno garcia um i love mexican gothic that i read last year so i really 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 want to read everything by her um she has another book that recently came out certain dark things um i want to read that too <laughs> maybe this month we'll see and that is it my friends that is my ridiculous ridiculous October spooky TBR. I hope you enjoyed. Talk to me down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts or opinions on the books that I've mentioned. Oh, let me know what you're reading this October. What is the book you are most excited about that you are reading this October? I want to know, especially if it's spooky. So maybe I can add it to my ridiculously long TBR. <laughs> so that is going to be it from me today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.